Hi guys and welcome to Thankful Thursdays with myself, Kel and Rachel. So the question that we are answering this week came as a feedback on Friday's feedback video and that question is, I have a lot of issues that are entangled or most intrinsically linked to my eating disorder behaviours. Can I deal with one issue at a time? If not, how do I, how do I deal with the whole of it? So I guess the first thing I wanted to say was that it's really good that the person that asked this question understands that their eating disorder isn't just about weight and food. And it's good that they understand that there's several elements at play causing their eating disorder behaviours. Because I think one of the problems is with recovery that lots of people make us believe that our eating disorder is simply about weight and calories and that weight and calories is therefore the answer to recovery and it's a lot more complicated than that. I think most of us that have experienced an eating disorder and have got at least quite a long way in their recovery journey would say that their eating disorder definitely wasn't about weight or calories at all which is quite interesting really. So really it's quite normal for there to be several elements at play and I think if you've only had one issue then it will be much, much less likely for that to result in an eating disorder. I think really for an eating disorder to come about it does take several elements that all feed in together to create the eating disorder and so because of that the nature of recovery can be really complicated and one thing that I, I noticed when I was recovering was that while I was at a very low weight and I was only just starting my recovery, I felt like my recovery was about weight and my focus was on food. But as I got more healthy and my brain started to function better, I started to realise how many other elements were at play and how everything fit together. And that was, was really difficult because when there's so many things going on, it's difficult to know where to start and how to deal with it which I suppose is what your question is and I think for me at least I found that I wanted to have okay this is where I can start and this is how I'm going to move through my process I wanted to be able to separate everything and deal with it separately unfortunately I did find that recovery just isn't that simple life isn't that simple thinking isn't that simple and that wasn't how it worked and I did sort of go back into and up and down and round in circles at times and I really I think that that's just normal and you don't need your recovery to fit the template that everybody else everybody else's recovery might fit I think everybody's recovery is unique to them and what's important is that you deal with it in a way that you feel comfortable processing it with so if you think something is more important to you and has contributed perhaps more than the other elements then start there but don't feel disheartened if you go off on a tangent and end up dealing with something else for a while that's perfectly fine as long as you're moving forward then that's great and even if it's two step forwards one step back you're still going forwards a little bit and that's great and I think it's to be accepted that it, it can be more painful once you get a little bit further into recovery and you realise all these issues because it starts to feel so impossible but it's not impossible and I think that there's several people here at the Freedom Fighters channel that are a testament to that because many of us have had complicated issues that resulted in our eating disorder and many of us are fighting for or living in recovery so I think that that's great. Another thing that I wanted to say was that knowing what your issues are and you having said that there's several makes me think that you sort of have at least identified what your issues are. Knowing those, at least for me, gave me power because when you're fighting your eating disorder alone and not really understanding the key root to it, it's, it's difficult to fight something that isn't solid if you see what I mean. But as I started to realise the causes and as I started to deal with them, it really gave me something more concrete to fight for and realising that it wasn't so much about weight and calories and that was just the behaviours that were helping me cope, helped me lessen my eating disorder behaviours and focus on dealing with 
the real issues that actually had nothing to do with calories. And to me that was really key in sort of making sure that I wasn't going to at any stage after that really relapse into my eating disorder because I do feel that people that often relapse and relapse and relapse are those people that are dealing with eating disorder behaviours which of course is great, getting healthy is really important but they're not dealing with the underlying cause which means that the pain that caused the eating disorder is still there and it is so important to deal with that if you want to have a healthy future because even if it doesn't come back out in eating disorder behaviours if you're not dealing with your pain it is going to come out somehow so hopefully that's answered the question and as always if not then do feel free to send me a message or leave a comment on the video and I'll respond or make another video if that's necessary so until next week guys take care bye